Hello everybody, welcome to the training of the EcoStructure Machine Advisor. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, we're going to have an introduction about this Machine Advisor. So, let's go to the presentation. So, Machine Advisor basically is a cloud-based solution that we have in order to monitor the machines. So, the Machine Advisor is divided in three parts, as you can see here on the screen. We have the track, monitor, and fix. So, in order to visualize this, okay, I'm going to show you the platform. So, you can access to the Machine Advisor, you see any browser. So, that's give you the versatility that you use your laptop or your smartphone to get access to this uh, cloud-based solution. So this is the visualization of the machine advisor. Once you enter into the machine advisor, you can see all of your machines that are located in the map. In my case, I have three machines, one in UK and two in UK and one in Argentina. So this give you an idea of all the status of the machines. So if you have a problem with the machine, you can see an exclamation mark. And if the machine is not connected, you can see this uh, cloud over here to indicate that you have a problem of what on, on, in one of the machines that is not connected to the cloud. So that's to have an overview okay, of the status of the machine. Then you can access into each machine that you have in order to visualize data. So for example, I got this one over here that is called LTA office. Then you have the possibility to use the track. That is one of the components that I show you in the presentation here. This one, the track that basically that allows you to see, um, to have an overview, okay, of your machine. So of the architecture of the machine. So if you access here, you can see that I have one PLC, one model, and uh, an HMI and uh, temperature and, and humidity sensor. So this track allows you to have an architecture, okay, of the machine, just to have an idea what is the component inside the machine. But the main feature here is not this, it's this part that you have over here, which is the activity and documentation. So here you can add notes about all the all the action that you have taken on the machine okay so for example uh, replace a sensor okay you can put this here and it will update the information in the cloud so you can have a track log of the action that you have done on the machine and also you have the possibility to add some documents so you can add the document for example of the drawings or the data sheets of the elements that you have over here you can put that in the cloud and then you can download it okay so which is good and useful and the other main thing here is this the task management this allows you to add task for each machine that you have and then what you can do is to go to the just over here in my plannings okay to have all the actions that you need to do in all the machine. So in this case, I only have one uh, action for this machine, which is this one, LTL Office, which is a machine, and I have this task maintainers. And if I click over here, it gives me what I need to do, check the sensors, okay? So this track, as it says, give you the possibility to have a tracking history of the thing that you have done on the machine, which is good. And all the changes are saved over here. Some of them are automatic and some of them are manual that you can really, that you can write your manual action over here. Then the other part that is probably the most interesting one is the monitor, which is the second part of this uh, EcoStruction Machine Advisor that allows you to see the data that you have on the machine. So if we go back here, just change the view. Here you have a dashboard of the information that you want to share. Okay. And the main idea here is that we don't need to program anything. 
everything is just configuration so once you publish the data to the cloud or basically send information to the cloud okay you have all the values or the values that you sh that you share in here in this in this uh in this list so here you can name those variables and make some modification in the units or how you can how you want to um, visualize information okay instead of numbers you can show a string so this is all the variables that you have that they are published by the plc or the gateway that you have once these variables are here in the cloud what you need to do is to um configure the way that you want to visualize in a nice way so basically what we need to do is to work with uh, the widgets so here in this part you shall see this widgets okay there are different widgets so let me just go back here to just organize okay by drag and drop and create your own way of visualization okay so for example if you want to show temperature just go to use this one to go here and if you want to make a trend for example you have all this so this is very simple because we just drag and drop widgets and then what we need to do is to configure the variable inside that widget so if we go over here this one here we just select what we want to show i'm going to use this one i believe this one is the thermometer yes there you have then you can modify here show the range okay 40 degrees and there you have it so it's very simple the same for the gauge uh sample this one okay uh da, da, da. this one 100 there we go okay and the same for the trend okay it's very simple you have all the information in there for example this uh let's say the humidity one day and you have it i start from today that's why i don't have anything for backwards but then you can escalate and change that information minutes hours as you can see over here in the top okay for the humidity how we decrease here you can compare the set point and the actual value of the temperature you can also add a picture and in the picture you can use some of the variables you can use over here okay it will change so this platform allows you to show data okay in an easy way so what you need to do is to have a gateway that we're going to talk about that uh later the gateway would send or we publish the data into this cloud-based service that we have and then you can define how you want to visualize the information which is very simple then based on the information that you have we have something called applications that these applications allows you to for example uh, compare values and then you can send email or send messages depend on the configuration that you have so that is something good um, regarding the gateways uh, we have all these gateways with the help so uh, if i need to choose i would rather use the modicon m262 okay which is the controller okay and they, they have the possibility to uh directly publish the information into the cloud okay which is very simple you can have this PLC Modicon M262, reading the information from the device, and then this Modicon M262 will publish the data. Or another solution would be to use the Harmony, that you can use the IPC box that we have in order to send the information to the cloud. One of the important things of the Harmony is that you can have like a, a 4G car, um, 4G car module. So you can put the 4G car in there with the SIM car, and then you can wireless wireless uh, and you can send information to the cloud so that there are the few things that you can do with this also you have another gateways over here and with all the complete help so 
this is like a, a small introduction about the the features that you have in the cloud the more important thing is the truck the, the, the truck you have the activities and the other thing is the monitor okay that allows you to see the real data that you have and the third uh, property or the third group model that we have is this one the fix that basically the fix is to allow you to connect to the machine remotely and then make the modification so how it is if we go to the help okay the faqs okay of the machine advisor okay you can see that uh let me just go back here the fix it includes this part okay and this is one of the important things which is the secure advisor um i have already made some kind of serious videos about the, the secure uh, the secure advisor that allows you to connect remotely to a site when you have uh one of our hmis the Harmon hmis you can connect remotely to the to the site and then uh make the modification as you are local so that's the thing that you need to know now uh, there are a few things that you must know which is there are some parts that are not free so if we go over here you can see that we have the truck the truck is a feature that we have in here the machine advisor which is free okay you can create the machines located in the map and and that's it you can make the truck the login the the history login and that's all there's nothing else that you can do if you don't want to go uh to the uh for the machine plan for example the machine plan basically is one way of the subscription that we have in the machine advisor that allows you to use the monitor okay that the monitor is this part that we have done over here that allows you to connect your plc your gateway to machine to the machine advisor so if we go to that you will need to have a some kind of uh, subscription okay um the subscription there are different ways okay that we're going to cover that later but if you go to the um to the faqs of the machine advice that you can find it let's see where it is da, 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 da. here you have payment and subscription model so based on the information that you send to the cloud okay and the frequency that you send that information um you that information will be um can explain this mm. so we have in machine advisor like a unit of consumption which is a machine advisor point the map as you can see over here consumptions this one mips okay which is the machine advisor uh map so if we go to the configuration you can see here which is the unit which is for example one map mip is one variable per minute per per month will cost you one MIP. Okay, so this is like an idea of how it will cost you. So you will need to make sure the variables that you want to share to the cloud and the frequency that you want to publish this data into the cloud, because this will impact in the unit that we have here, which is this uh, map MIP machine advisor point so that is something that you need to be aware of when you decide which is the information that you want to share in the cloud okay so i believe this um cover most of the main topics that you want to discuss here for the machine advisor okay but we're going to continue in how we can develop how we can develop this and how we can connect the plc or another gateway to the uh, machine advisor so this is it at the moment thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one